Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Gallic Gun Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video and today we are doing an unboxing of the brand new Maxmatic 2 Sun Goku. So let's jump into it shall we? Okay so let's jump into this shall we? Box looks pretty cool, got some nice production shots all around and then you've just got Maxmatic on the top there. But yeah really really cool figure by the looks of it. I actually haven't seen one of these in person just yet. Uh, I am a pretty big fan of the first Maxmatic that they released. That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I've got the rest of the ones they've got up for pre-order. Uh, number three and four, all pre-ordered, ready to go. And awesome. Nice big scale. This is uh, what I really love about these figures, guys, is just the absolute size. Uh, as you know, it's called Gallic Gun Toys, not uh, anything Goku related, because I'm not a huge Goku fanboy. But I do appreciate really large figures like this. Well, not really large, but larger figures, uh, I think. And a real big plus for me uh, with this one, I think, especially, uh, that really attracted me to this is the fact that he doesn't have uh, the top half of his orange gi. There aren't many Goku figures, like there's a few, but there aren't heaps of Goku figures with the uh, torn off shirt. So like I've got a few, but I don't think there's really a great deal in this scale. So that's really cool. Oh my god, I love the hair, love the colour. Looks like they've used the same, similar sort of colouring style uh, that they went with for the Ultra Instinct version, but I like it. I actually like how dark the uh, uh, his shirt is on the back here. It's a lot lighter at the front, but I actually think that maybe would have looked really cool if they'd gone with that all throughout, but still pretty cool. Uh, and when we do our comparison, we'll have to have a good look because I have a feeling that this might actually be exactly the same uh, bottom half of the uh, mould from the first Ultra Instinct Maximatic Goku. Well, still cool looking. I uh, like the top half, definitely. Looks really good. Overall, pretty solid figure and the size is really nice. And colouring is pretty good as well. We will go a lot more in-depth with uh, height, the sculpt, the mould, everything uh, up close and personal when we do a review of this guy. I just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown and a quick look at it. And he looks pretty good. Like, that's, that's a nice looking Goku figure. And like I said, I do really appreciate the fact that, you know, he's got half of his... Uh, Gi sort of missing at the top half. I think always thought that was a cool look with just the uh, blue undershirt with the rest ripped away. But yeah, really cool. Really digging that. Solid figure. Well worth the $40, $40 Australian that I paid for it. Yeah, stoked to uh, have picked this up locally from Zing because uh, I guess they're an essential service and they're still trading, so that's really good. I was really happy I was able to get this, especially during the quarantine. And overall, just really, really stoked with this figure. Uh, not too sure where I'm going to put it yet. I might have to do a little bit more rearranging yet again. If you guys caught my latest upload, you would have seen uh, that I've just recently just finished kind of rearranging in the last week or so. Stay tuned to the channel for the review of this coming soon, guys. We do have a few other reviews uh, coming out beforehand in the backlog. Yeah, uh, we'll definitely be reviewing this guy soon. Yeah, guys, so if you're as much of a fan of the larger scale figures like this and the Grandistas, the Super Master Star pieces, some of the other Ichiban Kujis, I will be doing an updated video because it's been requested so many times. Uh, I did a video probably about a year ago now uh, that basically was just me getting a lot of all the different scale figures, all the different lines together on the review stand and basically giving you guys a size comparison of all of them. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we're gonna do another one of those very, very soon. We're just waiting on a few new releases to come out uh, that I think might be a little bit crucial, but uh, who knows how we go for time. I might do that one 
now with the current figures I have at my disposal. And then we can do an updated one maybe in six months, uh, maybe a year after some of this other stuff has actually been released. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I did. Alright fellow collectors, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget you can also follow me over on Facebook at Gallic Gun Toys. Thank you as always for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.